You have entered the Plumbing Business Success Zone, teaching entrepreneurs the business of plumbing. This is Potty Talk Live, recorded live every week. Turn on notifications to never miss an episode. Now your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 337th episode of Potty Talk Live. I'm your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber, along with my co-host, the lovely Laura, where we're talking the business of plumbing, how to systemize, stylize, and monetize your plumbing business. Mm -hmm. And I am hyped for this episode here. Hyped? We got the ladies in the house. The ladies are in the house. The ladies. All right, that make what things, ladies? the ones that make things happen. <laughs> All right, and so you're not going to miss this episode. Mm -hmm. All right, we're talking about working with your spouse. Mm. Okay, so we have some master ladies. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. who have very successful plumbing businesses. Mm -hmm. All right, help to grow very successful plumbing business. Yes. They're going to give us their. Uh, I like to say two cents, but that's that's way more than that. At least a buck and a half. Yes. Guys, listen up. Okay, listen up to this one. Well, and there's okay. certainly an encouragement to a lot of um, wives out there, ladies that are maybe considering joining their husband in, um, with the plumbing business that he started. Not that you'll come alongside working for your husband, but working on your kingdom together. That's right. right. DW, you're right, hey, man. Dope. Let's go, ladies. Mm -hmm. Hey, that reminds me. Hey, if you're watching, uh, you're part of the live social audience mm -hmm. here, type live in the comments. Let us know you're with us live. Roadrunner. Okay. And if you're if you're watching the replay, That's please another. type replay. Let us know you mm -hmm. caught the replay. Mm -hmm. And if you're listening to the podcast on mm -hmm. any one of the, 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 the uh, podcast platforms. I mean, they're There's all out there. And if you're not, why not? Okay. <laughs> hey, Sarah. All right. You know what to do. Just keep on listening. Keep all right. There we go. Listening. Hey, I, I want to I hit this thing home. Okay. Uh, because I, I want the guys. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, if there's ladies here, hey, which I hope there are, hey, if uh, your guy here, share share this episode. All right, share right now. Okay, that's go, a good go, idea. Go grab your your hey, better Bruce. other. Okay, and I mean that better other. Everybody share okay. right now, and that also okay. helps. Um, if we can ask for your help, that helps with our um, rating, our ranking on okay. Facebook. Facebook is there. really particular about what they offer up, what they don't offer up. They certainly like it when people like. The content. Yes. So if you share, if you like, that certainly helps. Please get help us with that way. But I really there. want to help you guys. Mm -hmm. I, I tell you here, I want. I, um, you know, of course, the ladies here. I want, hey, want to hear um, these ladies speak. Um, these are very, very sharp. Um, they come from other careers, that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Who who have come come hey, alongside? Ben. All right, mm -hmm. their their spouse mm -hmm. uh, to work on this family business. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and what I want you guys to hear from this, take away from this, you know, listen up, guys. I want you to listen to this. Yep. Because we've been doing this for years, mm -hmm. okay? Been mm -hmm. doing this for years. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I wouldn't be the, hey, the multi-million dollar plumber. I know it's just a million dollar plumber, but I just had a nice tone to it. Oh, yeah? Okay. Wait, put the <laughs> MMDP. I got it right here. Well, I want to say stars. you made that happen. Oh, okay. That wouldn't have happened <laughs> hey, without the lovely Laura. Okay, mm -hmm. and I've seen it here. Um, you know, we've, we've spoken to hundreds of guys, you know, tons of plumbing businesses. Hey, Ted. Okay, and the guys that are by themselves starting, very rarely do I see any kind of real success. I mean, they may. Well, it just still, takes longer. Well, it typically well, takes at, longer. At best, it first takes time at, live. at best, it takes longer. Thank okay, you're I'm plumbing still, first time right. live. All right, but the mm -hmm. ones where where you know the ladies get involved. I mean, it just, it takes off. Now, that doesn't mean there mm -hmm. aren't things you have to make happen. I mean, there's just the reality of business, and I mm -hmm. think the ladies will you know, probably speak on that, mm -hmm. okay? But it just takes off because, you know, you know first of all, it's that, it's that shared energy, okay? Mm -hmm. All right? The ladies are the backbone of the business. Kathy, yeah, that's right. That's right. There's a shark. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy, I, be ready. You'll be one hey of guys, the Hey, guys, we've got to let the ego down. <laughs> I, I know in the field, we're all that. That's guys, we'll get us in the field, and we'll, we'll, we can compete on who's the best plumber and who can do whatever best or whatever. I tell you, but the business doesn't take off without the ladies mm -hmm. because number one is that shared energy. Mm -hmm. Okay, and there's just so much to do, there is so and much you guys to do. know that when you're in the truck, okay, mm -hmm. and trying to get things done, and, and and trying to learn all these new systems and put all this stuff in place, you only have so much energy, right? right. Mm -hmm. Okay, then you throw in <laughs> the skills. Good one, Daniel. Guys, I know you're like me. You're not techie. <laughs> Most of you are not techie, except well, I know a couple on one. here. Yeah, DW. I saw DW on here. That guy. Yeah. Hey, Matt. You know, he's from outer space or something. He is from know, outer right. space. Okay. <laughs> but it, it's um, on the whole, um, and even in this case, we have his better other mm -hmm. on. Yes. Bring skills. Mm -hmm. Okay. They, Matt's you, skills. You just bring skills. I mean, that's that 
you know, that yin and yang kind yin of a thing. Yang. You know, you know that's how God intended it. And that goes right to it. Mm-hmm. This is God ordained. Mm-hmm. This is how it was created. Okay, it's don't to be you can together. tell me about how we, we came out of the muck and all like that kind of stuff and all. Tano. That's what. All right. The bottom line is everything was great, and he had, man was by himself. Adam, and it was like. Uh, this ain't quite right. Okay, Adam, Adam's not quite cutting it. <laughs> so he made Eve, woman. You know what the first thing Adam said when he saw? Yes, but what? go ahead. Mine. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> woman. Mine. All right. That's right, Lisa. Okay. Lisa says a woman knows how to connect with Mrs. Jones. Yes. Um, and Bruce says wouldn't be able to do it without Jennifer Southern. We'd be All lost. Right, Bruce. Okay. I love how wise these. And that's these what men my are. it's wise man yes. to know. Mm-hmm. Hey, I, I need I need this other you know this other skill set this mm-hmm. other energy. Yes. All right. Mm-hmm. And I know you you kind of joke when I when I say this or whatever. Oh, but you, you get you get Big Bear oh. and Mama Bear. <laughs> All right, working together. Mm-hmm. Okay, this work in separate lives and separate careers. All that that's by design to, to split you up mm-hmm. and break you and to break up the family and, mm-hmm. and because if we can divide you, right. okay, and divided energies, right? And but you get you get focus. you get Big Bear, Mama Bear working together. Mm-hmm. Ain't nothing gonna stop you. Ain't nothing gonna stop. Well, you. especially when you burn the ships. When right? you burn right. So, yeah. do we have a right, question so for tonight? Listen. Was there any questions? No, I don't. We're okay. going to have the questions gonna... for the ladies. Right? Oh. Let's stop. going to stop talking here. Let's get the ladies on board. Let's here. bring them. All right, bring them mm-hmm. on. Who do we have here? We do bring we our masters it? on, Shelby. Okay, hit it. There, there we, we go. go. All right, we got. <gasps> Look at we, these ladies. There we go. We got. Uh, Hello. All right, Miss Pais Penn. Okay. All Ty right. Penn. Owner of New, New Era, Era Plumbing. Plumbing. All right, out, out of, of Boston, Massachusetts. Yeah. Huh. There we go. <laughs> All right, we got Miss Sarah Delney, owner of Mountaineer Plumbing, mm-hmm. out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. <gasps> And last but certainly not least, <laughs> Lindsay Ramsey mm-hmm. of Inception, Inception Plumbing, Plumbing out of Kansas City, Mo. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Right. And just so everybody, so welcome, ladies. Certainly right. glad to have you here. But just so everybody knows, when we call them masters, um, there are we have got private coaching clients, and some of our private coaching clients have graduated to another level called masters, um, which means they're million dollar plumber and plumbers and a few other things, but these ladies are a part of the master's group. And so they've they've started in the trenches along with their, their better others and have grown their businesses to multi-million dollar plumbing businesses. Multi-truck, so, multi-million dollar plumbing mm-hmm. businesses. And they are killing it. Yes. All right. So listen up. Hey, and ladies. it's a piece of cake. They'll tell you that it's so easy. It was easy. That, that there's nothing easy. to it. <laughs> All you do is just show up. All right. And just magically things happen. Right. Here yes. And yeah, if you hear kids in the background or dogs, we've got fur babies and we've got regular babies. So if you hear those in the background, that is the life of, of a working CEO mom. Yes. So, yes. Three amazing smart ladies. That's yes. right. Coming from a, another amazing smart lady. The, a of babe a PBC. in Minnesota. There we go. Mm-hmm. All right, ladies. Hey, thank you for being here. Mm-hmm. All right. I feel so good. I'm with the ladies tonight. I know. I'm a lucky guy. Okay. <laughs> All right, gang. Well, let's hit it. Let's mm-hmm. hit it. One of the first questions that we, we get uh, we get asked or whatever, I know that someone would want to know, what was your greatest fear? Mm. Did you have any fears? But I'm assuming there was fears. But mm. what was your greatest fear when, you know, coming to work, um, you know, with your uh, your plumber? Better plumber other. other. Right. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Spit it out. Go ahead, girls. Lindsay. I'll start. I'll okay. start. Um, <laughs> so um, I, I think I had a lot of fears. <laughs> <laughs> I would say my biggest one was probably just losing my my identity, I guess mm. you might say. Um, mm. I was a, a teacher for 15 years and a, a high school um, softball coach. It was a huge part of my life, a big passion of who I am. Mm. And of course, you know, you make those relationships with the people you work with. And I was, you know, I was really nervous. It, it was really difficult. I was afraid to walk away from the only thing I ever knew. And so it, it was a, a, a really hard decision. And I, I got a lot of really good advice. Um, and I don't regret my decision at all, of course. And it was the best decision I ever made. But just stepping away from my career, everything I, you know, had done so far in my life, um, it, it was, it was scary. Mm. Okay. And what I like, and I want you other ladies to chime in too. What I like about this is all of them came from a different angle, right? Like Lindsay did have, Lindsay, you did have a you know career for how many years were you a teacher? 14? 
15. 15 years, so yeah, right, a long and you time. were pretty entrenched. I mean, in all, I mean, you wrote like the math curriculum. I mean, yeah. this is a sharp cook. I mean, you, you like ran the whole math department for you know <laughs> the, the district. I don't know about that. And heavily into coaching too. Yes, I mean, a coach of the, the softball team. Right. All right. Um, but Thais, you, you come from a different, right? Because um, you did, were you with the, in the beginning with Danny from the very beginning in the business? Yeah. So um, he decided to go on his own when we were in the labor room. We <laughs> really? Were having our first daughter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we were having our first daughter. And he said, oh, I'm so busy. I'm, I, I looked at him and he said, it's time for you to go on your own. And he's like, yeah, I think I'm going to go. And I had a baby right after that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that's a day you won't forget. <laughs> so what never, was the fear? I'll never forget yeah. that day. <laughs> I mean, I, we just had a baby and yeah. um, I was afraid that we weren't going to have, you know, enough jobs. There's always that scarcity mindset that we, mm -hmm. we, were, grew, we grew up on. So, mm -hmm. um, as we went forward, we're like, okay, I guess, wow, we, okay. I guess we could do this together, you know, <laughs> right. face different things, but mm. everything just works out when you're working together, I guess, mm. you know, it just works out. I know it, mm. it's a power that it's out yeah. there. Mm -hmm. So I like it. All right. Yes. And yeah, she's right. The fear of, okay, what if this thing doesn't work out? I just, we just had a baby, right? I just had a, yeah. we need jobs, you know, baby needs shoes, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. It okay. was tough, but... But, okay. Well, Sarah. Well, speaking of babies... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, I don't share, uh, like, the same fear as, as uh, Thais. It was, are we going to have a paycheck? You know, are the jobs going to come in? Are we going to have a paycheck? Or are we going to be sitting here, you know, just waiting for jobs and not have anything? Mm -hmm. So that was the biggest thing, like, uh, kind of that scarcity mindset. Like, will we make it past the first month? Mm. Or, well, you know, <laughs> are we going to use all of our savings up? Right. Which wasn't a lot. I, was gonna... <laughs> <laughs> I could take a week. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, because we women uh, are security yeah. driven, right? I mean, it's, it's, yeah. it's security. Yeah. And is mm -hmm. there security in just starting out? It doesn't look like doesn't look like it. You don't mm -hmm. see the like every week paycheck like you do when, you know, you're working. You for sure have this paycheck, supposedly. Right. 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 And, supposedly um, secure. You don't know right? if you will. Mm -hmm. right. supposedly secure exactly right. well so that was that was definitely my biggest fear and i think that's what's so different about um the ladies versus the guys right because again we're wired that's just how god created us was to to um we want security well we want to feel secure not only in a relationship financially home all those things that we we need that and i know a lot of the ladies out there is going yeah, but the guys are like, whatever, roll the dice. And that's the thing. That's what turns out to be the greatest um, source of, of, of strength because you get the, um, and the friction mm -hmm. because you have one saying, we're going to take over the plumbing world and let's just go do this and go do that. And then you have the other saying, well, how are we going to pay for that? Yeah. How in the world? <laughs> Is that going to happen? And what and if? How are we going to get this? What if? What, what if? What if? Right. Yeah. Which the business needs, mm -hmm. right? The, the business needs both of that. Yes. All right. But it also causes Check and um, balance. a little bit of friction. Mm -hmm. Not that we know anything I about that. I think that's the best part. Mm. Which when, part? You, when the guys are like, when the guys are saying, oh, let's go take over the world. Then we're like. All right, how are we going to do that? So <laughs> we have to come up with how, right? right. We just we just got to put it together. And that's why it works. Yeah. And I think that's that's you're exactly right and we know all of these these ladies and and their businesses very well. So um knowing that that's how the husbands are. Typically are the ones, look what we're going to do. We're going to take over the plumbing world and do this and the girls go, "All right, well, I guess I got to figure out how that's going to happen," right? Yep. How to make that's it happen. That's funny. That's always like to touch on what Thais said. That's always something that you think about because when you start a plumbing business, you've never done it before. You have no idea really what you're doing. You don't have like the know how, but because you want the security, you have the how to. Like, I'm going to figure out how to do this because I'm going to have a paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> and I think as like women have that drive, like, no, we're going to make this happen because mm -hmm. you have to and you're, right. you're going to figure it out. Right. Because you have that. Mm, absolutely. <laughs> and I, well, I, DW, which is uh, Lindsay's. But other. Uh, 
Well, I wouldn't say better. But he says, if I buy something big for the business, I need Lindsay there to help me push the button. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I always know when he wants me to go with him somewhere, we're about to buy something. <laughs> <laughs> He's, he, he'll take me with him. <laughs> I'm just like, bye, right, babe. <laughs> Go ahead. It's just, and just like, you know, Thais and Sarah, I'm like, okay, this is a, it's an investment. You know, we're spending money today so we can make money with it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, and that's a great point. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I wanted to make a point for the guys. One of the biggest mistakes us guys make is we go out and we buy the thing or commit to something on our own. And then we come <laughs> back and we tell <laughs> you know, this never went over well with the lovely Lord. Yeah, never actually did. The, lo the lovely part of the lovely Lord disappeared <laughs> when I when I did stuff like that. But I found that for guys, listen to this: if you you want to do these things, always bring in your better other. Mm -hmm. And and it isn't and, for you know, permission. It's not for permission, right? That's the, what a lot of us guys. That's what we think. Well, mm -hmm. I don't. I don't have to have, have permission. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a lot of pushback. Well, there is some truth. You do need some. But it's joint, more, it's a joint venture. Joint, yes. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and you may yeah. have a different perspective. Ladies typically have a different right. perspective. And it's co-ownership. Mm -hmm. You know, you ladies, yeah, I know you were like, it's your business, right? It isn't just the plumber guy. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. it's, it's your, it's your business as well. Equally correct. And so mm -hmm. what guys, what uh, guys, gals, gals, I'm sorry. <laughs> what's, what's PC? What's, what should I say? Whatever you identify with. No. Okay. <laughs> oh, we'll just call them gals. Okay, gals. How's that? <laughs> what, what, um, you know, what, what did others say around you when you made this transition mm. where you, you decided to work, you know, with your spouse? Mm -hmm. Okay. Lindsay, since you went first, I'll throw you under the bus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah um, I had people saying, especially my teacher friends, um, my family was extremely supportive of me. Mm. Um, I think they just know the kind of person I am and know Daryl as well. And they were extremely supportive, but I had a lot of, I had some of my teacher friends who, um, they're like, well, can't you just wait until you retire? Oh, I'm wow. Like, <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> they're, they're like the, their, their mindset was teacher retirement so good? Yeah, you know, the teacher retirement is so good. Why don't you just wait till you retire and then you'll get teacher retirement and then you can do this thing? Wow. And I'm like, no, because <laughs> <laughs> that's how many years away? Uh, it, it's it's crazy. I, I know. I was probably 15, 12, 15, wow. you know, years away. Mm. And I'm like, 12, and I'm like, do you, I'm thinking in my head. I'm thinking, do you know where we're going to be in 10 years? Mm -hmm. Um, way past teacher retirement. And mm. so, um, it, it, and, and it's not, it's because they care about you, why they say those things. Mm -hmm. So that's how I feel. They, they don't want you to leave, to leave them. Right. So they're doing everything they can to, to try to get you to stay with them mm. and be with them because they don't want to lose you, um, in their lives. They think they're going to lose you when you go off and do something different. Mm. And so, um, I, I got a lot of, um, you know, oh, you should just wait until you retire and, mm. um, isn't that funny? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Hey, there, there, there's Marcia. Marcia yes. Barron says uh, another girl PPC. Power. There's girl PPC. power. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, Bo. Yeah, Bo is such a great subject. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to hear from these ladies. Yeah. What about you, Thais? What What are people saying around you when mm -hmm. you just had a baby <laughs> and you tell a family <laughs> and friends, "Hey, we're going to do do our own thing. Danny quit his job, and and I'm going to help him. We're going to we we'll start our own thing." Um. A lot of people try to tell us like, oh, you're not doing the right thing. And some people actually said that I'm very lucky because Danny gave me this life. <laughs> really? <laughs> so I, you know, I just went along with it. <laughs> what can I do? I, I was there to help him. Mm -hmm. I wasn't trying to prove nobody wrong or right. I was just trying to do what's best for us. So mm -hmm. and your family. I, mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I already knew what I worked in a restaurant business for a long time, and um, I already knew what customer service was. So we. We worked hand in hand together, so it was good. Yeah. So whatever people said, we didn't care really. We just needed to move mm -hmm. forward. Yep. Good for you. Good. Mm -hmm. All right, Miss Sarah. <laughs> um, I got a lot of like 
well, what are you going to do? You know, are you uh, going to be the secretary or right, right. what do you do? Like, what, what are you going to do? You don't know That's anything good. about business, mm -hmm. you know? And honestly, <laughs> we still get that. Like, what do you do? Really? Why do you, why do you work? Yeah, people have no idea what you do. You're just like a secretary, and that's okay. They can think whatever they want. Right. <laughs> they don't really care. Wait. But, but it's that funny because they can't she, wrap their. She, yeah. yeah. And mm -hmm. Sarah Delney runs two businesses. Mm -hmm. Okay, it starts yes. to Mountaineer Plumbing and Plum Line. Plum Line as well. All right. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah. So, 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 what do you do, Sarah? Exactly. Um, I just let them think whatever. <laughs> like Thais, I, I'm thankful my husband gave me this life. <laughs> we just watch. But isn't that funny that, that I mostly most... watch him work? <laughs> that is what most people think, and I, I do remember getting that when we had the business. So, what do you do? The books for your husband, or yeah. Right. I'm yeah. like, no, I, I have someone else that does that. I don't do that. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> you know, but it's just funny hearing what people think because mm -hmm. people have no idea. So yes, and right. and they don't. I mean, no, they don't. And just because they've never they've never done it, and it's outside of their comfort zone as well. Right. So, mm. and I admit that that has to be a little un, unfair to the ladies here because I know everyone here, um, and, and the ladies of, of the other PPCs mm -hmm. are Proverbs 31 women. Mm -hmm. and for those of you. You know, check it out, Proverbs 31. Mm -hmm. um, and so basically the Proverbs 31 woman like does everything, including yes. making her better other, her other mm -hmm. look good. Exactly. <laughs> Which I have to, <laughs> everyone who knows who's in the MDP knows that the, the real MDP is the lovely Laura. <laughs> we can well, yeah, relate no. to that. <laughs> but I'm still a better plumber. Oh, you're yeah. definitely a better plumber, sweetie. Right. I will give you that all day long. <laughs> all, right. all day long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I love it. Hey, we'll have you ladies right back here um, with a, with another huge nugget of gold for you. But because you're here, of course I have something for you. <laughs> all right? It's my million-dollar plumber blueprint. All right? All the specs that you got to know to have a successful, self-sustaining, and profitable, not mm -hmm. just profitable, but very profitable plumbing business. Okay, it's all in there for you, and it's free. Mm. Simply type free in the comments, or go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash free, and grab your free copy today. Mm -hmm. All right, that's better than rice a -roni. Remember the San Francisco tree? <laughs> no, remember, remember that, the game shows? You watch the game shows? You know, uh -huh. they, they go away, Rice you know, for contestants, you know, the losers got rice of roni. <laughs> it's like, oh, gee, thanks. <laughs> oh, thought, Random. All right. All right. Let's bring our masters back. Ma our master gals back. Okay. We've got with us, um, just to re reintroduce you guys, Thais Penn, New Era Plumbing, Lindsay uh, Ramsey out of Inception Plumbing, owner of Inception Plumbing, and then Sarah Delnay. Mountaineer plumbing, all masters in their own right. right. I have a question. So, you know, so people ask you, so what is it you, that you do? Um, what do you guys kind of say a little bit about what you do? Which I know is difficult because sometimes you get at the end of your day and go, what, what, what exactly did I get? What did I do? Right? And there's so many different tasks that go with it. But I know a lot of the ladies mm -hmm. that, that are watching may be considering come alongside and, and, you know, help, not, I almost said it, helping their husband help what's a better way to say it coming alongside their husband and building the, their the empire right. but they're like what do i do what are, what are some of the tasks i need to do so what were some of the things that you've taken over um or that you kind of jumped in and did and maybe something that surprised you're like man i'm i'm pretty good at that i really didn't think i was really good at that but i found out that i was anybody jump in or Lindsay, jump I mean, I think oh, oh, oh too late yes. sarah jumped in oh. Oh, Go, Sarah. I, I was just thinking about like you know when we you start your business, you're like, okay, well, what is like for me? I was like, what? Well, what is Matt doing? And then what? It, what isn't he doing that he's probably not going to do? Mm -hmm. And so like when when we were first starting, it was like, okay, hiring an employee. Like, how do we do that? I have no idea. Now I got to figure it out. Mm -hmm. Okay, well now we need health insurance. Now I got to figure that out because Matt was busy plumbing at the time, and you know finding plumbers. So it's really just kind of like in the beginning you you feel like you're filling in the cracks of like the business like okay now i gotta figure out payroll how do i do that mm -hmm. you know and now i gotta figure out the books now am i gonna hire someone to do that or do i know how to do i want to learn like it's just a bunch of random stuff in the beginning and i feel like it's probably always a bunch of random stuff and it just like changes over time because you can delegate when you 
actually figure out what you have to do, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. And then now it's more like maybe marketing things, and I still do payroll, mm-hmm. um, hiring things like that. So they like had no idea how stuff, to do before, but, right. right? No just, idea. Yeah, I'd never done it. Mm-hmm. I mean, you just figure it out. Mm-hmm. You figure it out. You exactly figure it right. out. Mm-hmm. DW's chiming in here. I know I can't. What is- Daryl says, marketing manager, accounts receivable clerk, accounts payable clerk, dispatcher, CSR, fleet manager, just a few of the roles that the ladies do. That's right. You're exactly right. Um, would you, do you want to add to that list, yeah. Lens? <laughs> yeah. So Sarah hit it right on the, the head there. You know, when you first come on board, you're, uh, you're looking at your, you know, your, your, your husband, your significant other, and you're, you're seeing all the things they do and you just try to help Mm. take some of that off. I know my number one thing when I first came on and it changes over time. So the Mm. stuff, when you first come on board, you're not going to be doing that forever. Cause like Sarah said, you're going to start delegating. You're going to bring on some help and delegate some of those responsibilities. But when you first come on, you're just doing everything. Mm. And my, my main goal was we didn't have, we did not have a um, way to collect payment on um, when, when, it was just Daryl in a truck. Oh, and right. so my number one goal was to get us a way to collect payment on site. So we didn't have all these outstanding balances. Mm-hmm. And then my next thing was, okay, now we've got to hire somebody, you know, we've got to, you know, start interviewing. We've got to, you know, um, you know, have all these hire forms. I mean, you don't have to, but you know, that's what I'm thinking. You know, you we need a, um, payroll, you need um, a handbook, you need um, all these different things. And so you just start doing all these things. One of the big things, you know, I, I started researching was we had a box, we decided to get box trucks. And then of course they had to be DOT. So now what does that mean? Now I have, what are the, what are all the ins and outs of all of that? How do you get a DOT number? Uh, I make this joke of people ask me too, you know, when, when I first came on board, you know, what do, what do you do? And I'm like, I don't know, but I do it all day long. <laughs> you, you, get, you get another person in the office helping you out, you know, to answer the phone. And they're like, well, now they're answering the phone. What do you do now? I'm like, I don't know, but I do it all day long. <laughs> and it's now That's a great start line. To, those higher level um, activities, um, you know, like fleet management, starting to, you know, get GPS tracking on our vehicles or alarms. And we start looking at different marketing strategies, you know, what's working, what's not working. Um, mm-hmm. You can start really dialing in on the tone of your business once you start, you know, taking care of all the little things and everything starts to get better and better and better. You can finally start looking at it from a cloud view rather than down in the weeds. When you first get in, you're down in the weeds, you know, doing all this little stuff. Mm-hmm. And then eventually you start to get out of the weeds and get the kind of more vision looking down on your company what it needs absolutely and we hear a junior vp in the background is we, that we, we hear a junior vp in the background yes that yes. Yes. Brian. <laughs> and my mom instincts are like oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, I know we, you talked about that you started the business, Danny decided to start um, when your first daughter was born, and you recently had another baby, little Noah, right? So right. he's just a yes. few months old. So, yes, um, busy, busy mom. And again, with um, Sarah's got four, four kids. Um, yeah, so juggling all that. And um, Lindsay's got two fur babies, right? right? Mm-hmm. And heavily involved right um, now. So <laughs> with, with coaching, I mean, you still have you're heavily involved in coaching. So, yes. So all you guys are doing, I love that. It is so true. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, the guys, what you realize, I mean, it's just our ladies. They really do do about everything else. <laughs> That's such a great <laughs> you do about line. everything else, mm-hmm. and you have all this other outside stuff that they're working on too. Correct. You know, mm-hmm. and it's yeah. You know. It's a lot. It yeah. is a lot. And, yeah. and it, again, you just you kind of get through your day you, and knowing the things that absolutely have to get done or a problem that needs to be solved, and you solve it. So, right. mm-hmm. But do you find, guys, what, is, um, what has changed your life? Do you, do you find that this has been a great thing? Has mm-hmm. it changed your life for the better? Do you, do you feel like your relationship is closer? Do you feel like you have more control of your life? What comes to mind? Yeah, because that, that's a great um, that's a great question. Because a lot of people, I'm sure you guys hear it. Oh, there's no way I could work okay. with my husband. There's just no way we could work together. Blah, you know, just on and on, right? So, what's what's been your experience with that? Well, um, I found that, that for us, it, it worked out because we have the same dreams. You know, we wanna we wanna mm. have 
the same life. We're together, you know, until death do us part. So mm -hmm. pretty much we have, we have the same dreams. We have the family. We're taking care of our family. We're, we're expanding. Uh, it's, it's amazing to share that with somebody, you know, mm -hmm. instead of watching him do something and I'm doing something else. It, mm -hmm. it, it probably wouldn't have worked out like that because mm -hmm. we started from the beginning together. So yes. I couldn't see myself doing something else. Mm -hmm. um, and, and as we grow with the business, um, we find new ways of becoming better people. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we look for, you know, we surround ourselves with business owners and they're doing some better things with their lives and who they are. So it's not just the business that we're growing, we're growing ourselves mm -hmm. and the business is following, it's pretty much following us, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's even better to see all of that grow in front of us. Mm. Awesome. Oh, love hearing that. Um, so what about yeah, you, Sarah? Yeah, I mean, I love it. And I think it's been great for our relationship, honestly. Like every day, Matt and I just look at each other and we're like, I can't believe this is our life. And in a good way, you know, and I, I really don't think there's a, a day that goes by that we don't say that to each other. It's like, mm. you know, today we got to work together all day. Mm -hmm. And like the days where I don't work with him, it's like, oh, man, I really miss him because I haven't seen him. It's been like five hours, mm. <laughs> you know, but like when we were separate, it was like that was the normal every day. Like you work apart and then you see each other for a few hours at night and then mm -hmm. you go to work again the next day. And it's like now it's like we get to see each other all the time. And it's. I mean, it's great. Mm -hmm. So it's been like great for our relationship. And it's just been like, I mean, we have a lot of fun doing it. Like yeah. it's hard, obviously growing a business, but it's sure. really fun when you do it with someone else that like loves it too. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So, and Lindsay, what about you? Um, did you, did you have the thought like, man, I don't, I don't want to be in business together because then all we'll talk about is business or I want to make sure that we have a separation or whatever. Was, was that a thought for you? Um, no, I mean, I, I can turn off pretty easy. Daryl, Daryl goes on and on, I'm not business. So I can turn off. <laughs> uh, so for, for me, um, I, Daryl and I, we, um, I'm not going to act like it's all rainbows and sunshine. We will, we'll, we're both very hard headed people. <laughs> so we will, we're both pretty stubborn and we both think we're right all the time, but, um, mm -hmm. I would much rather, be with him in an argument than not see him at all. Mm. Uh, and that's kind of what our lives were like when I was, you know, teaching and coaching, I would go off and teach and coach all day, sometimes get home eight thirty, nine o'clock at night. Mm. Daryl would go and do, you know, his plumbing. And I, mean, I was always in the business as well. Um, I was always kind of behind the scenes, but I would do it when I was off work. So I just started to see the drain and exhaustion that Daryl was taking on. And of course I had my own drain and exhaustion, even though, you know, I love teaching and coaching we're, we were going separate ways, sure. separate ways. Mm -hmm. And so, um, uh, now, you know, even though it's not all, you know, it's not easy, you know, we, we, um, you know, we have, uh, disagreements, <laughs> but um you know we talk them out we work them out at the and then at the end of the day you know you know we smile and like you know the, the other ladies here we know that we're building something together mm -hmm. and you just can't replace you know being with you know your your person and, and building something together for for you and your family and your future it's just um it, but it is important to take those mental breaks and, and not talk about business all the time and to realize each other as people outside of the business um, that because you can get very exhausted and you can get worn out and you need to everybody needs to um, refresh and rejuvenate. And and, you know, you get those you get you get you bounce back even better with, you know, um, better ideas and more mm -hmm. energy and taking those breaks, um, those mental breaks and enjoying each other as a couple. So and how do you do that? I like a lot. Mm -hmm. And how do you do that? Ladies? Have to eat. Day eight. night. Yeah, there we go. Oh, okay. Let's see? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I know people, <laughs> people think that we're business coaches. We're not. We just preach date night. That's we all we do. We preach date night. <laughs> hey, which is a great uh, business tool. Sushi Monday Sushi. with my wife is pure gold. That's the thing now. Sushi Monday. No, uh, it's the best day of the week. 
No, Tuesday, you naked charcuterie board here. nights. My favorite night. <laughs> Move on. It's been great. You know, for, for Laura and I, we've worked together 24-7 now, Four. pushing 30 years. Mm -hmm. And, you know, people wonder. And we've, we've had, and, and Lindsay, I'm glad you read that. And I think all brought it up you know, we do have arguments right there's right it's not all sunshine there. and roses mm -hmm. um because you got two very strong people Wise who are rant. working on this thing and so there, there is that friction you mm -hmm. know getting a point across um but but it, with friction what, but, what comes from friction diamonds see all right mm -hmm. diamonds come from friction mm -hmm. and so we can say in this stage of our life you know it i you know you look back in, in the battles that you've been together you, you fought together in the achievements and the losses mm -hmm. you've bore together right. um, has made, you know, we, uh, um, we're, we're the best friends. Mm -hmm. You know, it's never been hotter. Mm -hmm. It's never been more intimate, mm -hmm. more um, secure, all those kinds of things. But we went through an awful lot in the beginning, But we're going too. through an awful learning, lot, right. Yeah, the learning curve that, learn. that all husbands and wives go through, but then you add on the right. working together in a business. Um, but it's worth it. I mean, it's, it's just, it's so worth it. Right. We wouldn't have it any other way. So, so ladies. Mm-hmm. One more question here for you, and we'll leave you. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah. What's, what's your secret, all right, for making this relationship and business relationship with your better other um, successful? Mm. The secret to your success. The secret. Let's hear it. Nuggets of gold. Anybody go. <laughs> okay, Ty <laughs> all right. Thais, I'm going to throw you under the bus. Okay. <laughs> Go, Ty. I'll say my secret. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> patience. Uh -huh. A lot of patience. I sit back and I watch a lot of what's happening. Mm. And when it's time to speak, I'll speak and he listens. Mm. So it's it's been working out. If I mm. sit back and watch and have patience with each other, with the business, you know, with the growth and everything like that. Mm. It works out. I don't know. Okay. okay. Just... Patience is your key. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What about you, Sarah? What's what's what do you think the secret to this success has been? I think honestly, like we we have so much fun, and we're always like looking towards the future. I think no matter mm. where we are, we're always like we're always dreaming. I think together, and I think that's mm. really like a big secret because when you're dreaming about you know where you want to be or what you want to accomplish, it like really drives you. Mm. But yeah, I mean, just having fun and like, we're always daydreaming together. So it's just like, I think that's been a lot of our success, honestly, because when you're thinking about the future, you, you find a way to make it happen. Mm. Mm. So plan of the, plan of the that's future. Good, yeah. Yes, love hearing that. Yeah. So Lynn's, what do you think? Yes, I have a great secret. Okay. Uh, words of affirmation. <laughs> <laughs> um, telling Telling them that the things that they're doing are, are good and you know that you see what they're doing and and that you you notice that they're you know putting in hard work or they have a great idea or you agree with them or um, letting them know that they're doing a good job you know because they are you know we, we get we get so wrapped up with all the little things that need to be done sometimes we forget to um, encourage or appreciate or tell tell each other um, you know, how, how awesome we are because we're mm -hmm. awesome. <laughs> you know, um, so letting each other know how much you appreciate the other one and how, mm -hmm. how great they're doing. Um, I think yeah, sometimes after a hard day, you know, um, uh, you know, if Daryl will tell me, you know, how, how great I am or what a wonderful job I did at something and vice versa. I mean, it can take a hard day and turn it into oh oh yeah okay so mm -hmm. today wasn't so bad mm -hmm. um, so and and it was recognized and, right mm -hmm. yeah, yeah that you recognize each other especially you're right Lynn's after you've kind of had a bad day it really does help to hear from from your significant other you know what you, you kicked it today I know it was right. a tough day but but you did it and and words of affirmation um, I, you know I love that phrase um, is so important because especially with us women because men need our respect our husbands need our respect. So we have the power to either build them up or tear them down. And we can do it really quickly, you know, with just a glance or even a word. Um, so why not use your words to, to build up as opposed to tear down? So that's my two cents. To me, that, that's a good secret to success. Words of affirmation both ways. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yeah. All right. Great stuff. Mm -hmm. All right. I hope, hope you guys out there are listening. 
All right, to these ladies here. Yes. Lots of great stuff. Mm -hmm. Guys, thank you so much for taking the time to be on here mm -hmm. and being so transparent and, and sharing. And being an encouragement to other ladies that are um, considering or maybe just starting out. I know we've got a lot of Plummy Power couples that watch the show, and um, ladies get a bit nervous. Can I do it? Why am I going to get paid? Will there be a paycheck? Are we going to have jobs? All those things. But you guys are definitely a source of encouragement, so I appreciate you guys being on the show. All right. Thanks, for Thanks guys. Thanks for Thank us. you so much. All right, All right guys. Good night. <laughs> Thanks go. again. We'll see you soon. The Bye. ladies masters in the house. Okay, everybody, give a bunch of hearts and likes and loves to those yes. guys because I, that's, it's not easy to go on a, a show and and do that, right? right? And then to kind of share and, and think off the cuff. So really give these ladies some love bombs for sure. You know, as I really, you know, we're all about, you know, um, the business of plumbing here, right? You know, how to systemize, stylize, monetize, <laughs> you know, your plumbing business. I think the one, you know, and I get at, you know, what's like, what's, what's important? Yes, having the right price, working with the right customer, all mm -hmm. that kind of, all that kind of all stuff, stuff's things. important. But I've seen time and time and over and over and time and time again that ha having your lady come beside you, mm -hmm. all right, and fight with you. And build together. And build together and dream together, mm -hmm. all those kinds of things. I think uh, I saw that, that Anne, uh, Anne. And uh, the babe. And the babe. babe all right, plumbing. babe plumbing. Mm -hmm. All right, I think it said it very well, you know, they're, they're better together. Ah. And they're, that's just, there's just a reality there, guys. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you're considering, if, there, if there's something inside you, if I, man, it's just crazy, we would yeah. like to work together. Mm -hmm. And by the way, you were meant to work together. Yeah, I mean, the guy's saying, you know, I can't imagine working together or whatever. I hey, you want to be together. When you're first dating, you want to be together all <laughs> the time. Okay? Because that's the way it's designed. That? Okay? Way back when. Right. So if you're thinking about it, Do don't, it. don't be afraid Don't yeah. be afraid to jump. I mean, mm -hmm. because the times, the companies I see that are successful, again, are the ones when, you know. Both are together. Both are together. And, and sharing the load, the energy, yep. bringing their different talents in. Well, and like Lindsay right. said, um, she doesn't regret it for a second. Yeah. Even though nerve, there were certainly nerves in the beginning, but doesn't regret it. Well, I mean, of course, we're not going to share this, but we know a lot of the inside stories. They, they look, they're very successful now. If you check them out, they, they have these big shops and, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> multiple trucks. And they're making so they, and they're, they're seen everywhere. And it looks mm -hmm. like, well, now it looks like, well. Well, of course. Well, of course they yeah, can do it. They, they must plumbing, be genius. Of course oh, they, oh, oh, yeah. Right. But we know back when there was, you know, right when they had the kids and they're worried about how am I going to make payroll mm -hmm. or working on the jobs and putting all this stuff together, all those right. fears, mm -hmm. okay? Yep. But yet, here they are. They may have been afraid, but they still did it. They that, did it afraid. Right, and that's the so. key. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Okay. Uh, thanks again to the ladies. Yeah, was and awesome. I loved having that episode, I having know. the ladies on. We're going to do this Masters again because you want to do. I make a You're going to have the ladies on again, aren't you? Uh, of course. Because yeah. the, there's. We've got more ladies. Tons, of, them, tons of, of information there. Yeah. Okay. All kinds of great information. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. Hey, glad you were here. Hey, if you're really looking to take your business to the next level, okay, with your better other, mm -hmm. all right, you need to check out the Million Dollar Plumber Success Academy, mm -hmm. okay? Everything in there that you need to know and work on together. We talked about that, the right pricing. We do. Okay. And in every um, module, there's 12 modules in every module, there is a plumbing power couple section, right? right? Where we discuss a plumbing power couple issues. Okay, so mm -hmm. there we go. All right, it's all in there for you. So check it out, and you can check it out for free. 14-day mm -hmm. free trial. Simply type free in the comments or go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash free. All right, and grab your free trial. Do it. Ask yourself, do you want to be in the same, where do you want to be this time next year? Mm. Okay, it's time to start thinking this way. Yeah. Do you want to be in the same spot? Do you want to look back you, on. Or like to be where these ladies are? Yep. Do you want to look okay. back on 2022 and go, oh, man, I'm in the same spot I'm I was the same last year. I'm in the same spot. Don't do that. That'd There's no dumb. reason why you have to. That's dumb. Okay? These, you know, in a year, it's a whole other game. Okay? Exactly. Yep. So there we have it. Hey, great having you here. As always, before I let you go, I want to remind you that you were purposely and wonderfully created. And you were created to do great things mm. and to work together. <laughs> All right? So live like a champion. Thank you for tuning in to Potty Talk Live with Richard Bainey, the million dollar plumber. If you enjoyed this show, share it now. Just do it. To catch past episodes and get alerts for new episodes, turn notifications on now. And join us again for more tips, techniques, and strategies to help you grow your plumbing business.